Hello, I'm Alison Cooklin. I'm owner of Belly Size, which is um, exercise um, and belly dance workshops, um, but also of the Posture Clinic, which is massage and exercise therapy. So this series of videos is all about helping tackle common problems with five simple moves. And today it is the mid-back or our rhomboid muscles. Um, five simple moves should really help counteract common aches and pains in that area. So here we go, number one. So our first one, we are going, I'm going to demonstrate standing sideways. So sit with soft knees so that your lower back can relax and your tailbone tilt down. Hold the belly in firm. Begin, hands like goalposts. We're going to press back. So squeezing those rhomboids together and then pulling in the belly, we're going to round our body completely. So you're stretching across there and hook your fingers together like that. And then as you're rounding and stretching those muscles, try and pull those, thing, those hands apart. So you're really gripping and trying to pull apart and that will really engage those rhomboid muscles. Keep that belly pulled in and keep your chin tucked. So open stretch like that. We're going to repeat this five times, okay? So breathe in as you press, squeeze those rhomboids together. And on an exhale, you're going to pull apart, try and hook those hands, pull apart, pull the belly button in. Really stretch. Breathe in, pin those elbows towards each other. And on an exhale, tuck the chin, crunch the belly, try and pull, 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 pull those hands apart. Breathe in, stand, press open wide. Exhale, crunch and tuck, try and pull that apart. You can get a muscle shape, that's good. Stand in, press the elbows, squeeze those shoulder blades together. On an exhale, sit, tuck the belly, and pull those arms apart as you tuck the chin. Oh, that's lovely. One more time, standing up, press those elbows towards each other. On an exhale, sit, tailbone tuck, crunch, link those fingers and try and pull, pull, pull apart. Feel that engage over the upper back. Oh, lovely. Exercise number two. So, once more, standing shoulder width apart, soft knees, tailbone tuck. By the way, um, you can do this seated if, if you need to. So, goalpost arms. So, elbows are in line with shoulders. And we're going to squeeze our shoulders together. Hold that a moment and release. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Strongly as you can, try to draw those shoulder blades together. Release. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Really trying to get those shoulder blades to meet in the middle and release. Squeeze and release. So that's about four. We're going to do 10 in total. Okay. So on the in breath, you're like this. The exhale is when you really squeeze. So that's five. Breathe in. On your exhale, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Try and keep elbows up. Breathe in. Squeeze. And release. Try and keep your knees soft and your tailbone tucked so you're not arching or stretching. Try and keep the lower half still. And two more times. I haven't been counting. <laughs> and release. Breathe in and exhale, squeeze, 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 and hold it for an extra squeeze. Try and get those shoulder blades to meet in the middle. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You should feel lots of lovely blood in the area, nice and hot. And release, well done. Exercise number three. So again, soft knees, tailbone tuck, so that you've got a nice relaxed lower back. Bring your arms forward and then cross your right elbow into your left elbow. When you bring your elbows together like this, it really pulls open between the shoulder blades. So you can 
hold on to your shoulders like this or if you're used to yoga and you can do a full eagle arms do so but this would be absolutely fine um, and we're going so this is already pulling it open but we're now going to use gravity to really open out and stretch those muscles um, so again soft get a chin tuck and slowly make your way downwards as low as you are comfortable to go so just Jenny coming down keep your chin tucked and slowly 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 coming up okay so we're going to change which elbow crosses stay down on this one as long as you like if it's feeling good you can stay down there and have a sway um, and just repeat it as often as you like okay so I'm turning this side just for demonstration purposes remember soft knees so you've got a nice relaxed lower back tuck your chin breathe in on an exhale tuck the chin and slowly slowly start coming down till you find a sweet spot which is the bit where you think yeah that's lovely and you're just letting gravity pull and stretch it's not just the mid back you'll get the lower back too Oh, that feels so good. And when you feel ready, slowly restack that, that vertebrae as you come up one at a time, pulling the belly button in strongly. Come back up and release that out. Give your arms a swing. So exercise number four. This one is um, a kind of cat cow only on forearms. So coming down so elbow and shoulder are in alignment and walk your knees back so that they're under the hip and we're going to simply breathe in look up on an exhale press those forearms actively into the floor and it's pushing those forearms which is going to stretch across tuck the chin in pull up the belly button and then on an in breath release on an exhale tuck the chin pull up the stomach and push 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 through those forearms really pressing and that is it's going to engage those mid back muscles breathe in exhale tuck the chin crunch the belly push push as strongly as you can really push through those forearms and release and again tuck the chin push really really hold that if you can pull that belly button up one more time release and on your exhale press through those forearms pull the belly button up tuck the chin push really 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 strongly and relax and do as many of those as you like so our next exercise is on our final exercise is also down on all fours and again on our on our forearms um so make sure you've got the alignment hip and knee alignment elbow to shoulder alignment and keep the belly pulled in and we're going to take our elbow and then push it upwards as far as it will go push through this forearm Try not to allow yourself to slump, so push up through that shoulder and just press that elbow open. It's quite challenging, especially if you're very tight. And then with this hand, we're gonna pull it through like a little thread the needle and press. So it's breathe in, press that wing up, exhale, push through, wing up, push up, exhale through, don't forget to keep that belly button pulled up <laughs> and down, pressing up and through. That's quite tiring. Good. That's what we want. So doing the other side. So you push that elbow up, pressing through this forearm and on the exhale, the push through, you drive your fist through bringing your shoulder towards the floor, but not completely on the floor, and then press it up. Oh, that feels nice. Push through, keep that belly pulled in, 
push the elbow up, pressing through this forearm, and through. Two more times, push that elbow up, and press through. Last one, push up, and through. Phew. <laughs>